Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about one of the most confusing topic, how one singleton classes beam or object can handle multiple requests in a Spring Boot application concurrently and without making that application any slower. First of all, singleton classes object means there will be only one object of that class in the whole JVM. So 10x, 100x, 1000x, doesn't matter what the number of user requests are coming towards your application, but those are gonna be handled by that one singleton object only. So how one singleton classes object is handling multiple requests concurrently? Let's have a look at this code snippet first. If this is your singleton class, then while invoking this add method of some class by two user request threads, this will be causing issue. Because here this counter object will be shared by two of those threads and they will be trying to manipulate this counter object's data or value at the same time concurrently. So this will produce unpredictable results. So that is why any such object which maintains the state level like this object level state will be there. You should not keep such object inside your singleton class. So that is why we have to make the singleton class as stateless. Now let us look at this code snippet where I have just removed that counter which was getting incremented every time one thread is trying to access this particular single classes object. Now doesn't matter 10x, 100x or 1000x whichever number of user request threads are trying to come and invoke this add method of some class they will be able to execute this method safely, concurrently each time one user request thread is coming. Because each request are nothing but one independent thread where they will be having their own execution context with their own stack where each method, their variable name, method name, everything will be stored in that stack and they won't be overlapping with each other. And this singleton classes object will be there in your JVM or inside your JVM heap memory which is actually a shared memory. So every time one request comes, that particular request related thread will be going inside the JVM heap memory and then trying to access that singleton classes object or bytecode. So this is nothing but a application form. Suppose you have to change your email address in your bank account. So what you will do, you will go to a bank, they will give you one application format. Now it doesn't matter how many people are going on that particular day to the bank to change their email ID. They will be giving a same application format to each of the people, right? So similarly, here it doesn't matter how many user request threads are coming to invoke this add method. They will, whenever they are coming inside that JVM's heap memory, they will be getting that one single byte code by code and they will share it then there will be any overlapping they will be able to execute that particular singleton classes object or byte code concurrently. So that's how your stateless singleton classes object or beam will be able to serve multiple user request threads concurrently without any lock or restrictions. And that is why this whole process is not making your application any slower because multiple threads can act or can invoke concurrently without any issues. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I'll be catching up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with pride.